All right, everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing an unopening of my latest subscriber starter pack from America, as you guys can see. We've got $62.45 being dropped on this, a cool 60 bucks to send me whatever's in here from Robert Davis in Los Osos, California. And I want to say, before I say anything, I want to say thank you. This, this package has been sitting on my desk for like a week and a half. I've been, I've been busy, I guess you could say. I've been stressed, I've been thinking about things and I haven't been able to be present enough to do this on camera and feel good about it. You know, there's, there's, certain, there's certain times that you just don't feel up for a video. And I, I guess, I, I'm sorry, Robert, that uh, I've been feeling like that. But today is different. I've actually just opened up my 100,000 YouTube subscriber plaque. I don't know if you can see it up there. <laughs> kind of blends into the wall, but it's fucking beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. And I've got you, Robert, and all of my other awesome subscribers to, to thank for that. So... Once again, if you have seen that video, fucking cool experience. But I did talk about the fact that you do need to, you know, you, you need to feel, you need to feel good within yourself to, to then portray that to other people through the camera. So, you know, recent things in my life, I haven't been really feeling that good, but today is different. Today I feel good. And today I'm going to open your package finally. So let's go. Let's do it. I can't remember what team he said. That's all the fun of it. These boxes are like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. So let's see what we got. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is Bring this camera down a little bit. Robert, my man. It's packed to the brim. <laughs> Oi, and it's my fuck, it's my birthday today, believe it or not. 27th November 2018, it's my 28th birthday. So I got, a, I got my first birthday present from YouTube and my second from you, Robert. So I want to say thank you. What a time to be alive. Whoa! Look at it all. Holy shit. We've got a letter as per usual. Now usually, Usually I wait till the end of the, the video to, to read the letter, and that's exactly what I'm going to do today. So, I'll give you my first impressions on what we got here. Alright? What do we have here? The Terrible Towel. I assume that's something from Steelers. From the Pittsburgh Steelers. What do you got? One, two, three, four, five, super, one, two, three, six Super Bowls. The last one coming in 2008. Look at that. I got my terrible towel. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. We have a toy football. If I can hit the camera, I'm good. Man. Fuck, man. You've outdone yourself, buddy. You really have. What's this? Property of Cal Poly. Cal Poly. What's that? California Polytechnic? Mustangs. The Cal Poly Mustangs. I'm sure you're going to tell me exactly who they are. Terrible towel. What have we got here? Pingu, Pingu. No, it's not Pingu. Plush animal. <laughs> uh, what kind of animal is this? It must be a mascot for a team, right? <coughs> I'm sure we'll find out once again. Oh, mate, we've got flannelette. We've got some PJs. The Chargers. The San Diego Chargers. Oh, I'm going to have to put them on, aren't I? Okay. Oh, this is the, uh, that's the font I was talking about, the, the college style, but it's for the Chargers, and it looks like it's a girl's top. And as I talked about before, I don't have a girlfriend, but I do have a sister, and that'll look great on her. It might be a bit big, though. She's going to love that. Thanks, mate. 
Oh man, this fuck. So cute. Look at that. How cute is that, man? Honestly, it makes me want to cry because my daughter's not here. Christmas is coming up. I'll be sending her a Christmas present and this will be included. Thank you. Baseball? What's this? Is that the Pirates? Pirates, is it? Pittsburgh Pirates? I'm not sure. We've got a toy baseball and a little toy baseball cap, which I haven't, I haven't received anything from a baseball team yet, so thanks, man. That's a first. We've got more. Okay. Here's my t shirt. <laughs> Fantasy football. And I will wear that because believe it or not, after eight rounds of me not even changing my fantasy football team, I was up six to two. Six wins, two losses. It's probably about time I checked it again. So I'll do that. But this is a perfect size, mate. Perfect size, XXL. We'll try it on. Oh, it feels nice. Sweet. Boom. Oh, we've got a postcard. Postcard from Morrow Bay, California. The crown jewel of the central coast of California, Morrow Rock, stands at the entrance to Morrow Bay Harbor. Would you look at that? And lastly, we've got three hats. My oh, man, I love strap hats as well, so thank you for that. What was this again? CP, what was that? Col Poly. Cal Poly. Cal Poly Mustangs. So we've got a Cal Poly Mustangs hat. It's a bit tight, but I will... There we go. I will adjust it. We've got a Rams hat. Now the Rams are Cincinnati? No, that's Bengals. It's uh, LA. LA Rams. Los Angeles, obviously. My head's pretty big, guys. If I can find a hat that fits me with three of these, Clipped, I'm happy. And just, it <laughs> just fits me, I actually like that. That's a nice hat. Last but not least, we have a Steelers black hat, which is pretty fucking nice. Velcro back this time. Oh, this is actually decent size. This might actually fit my head. That'll be good. No? What size is this hat? It's got to be big. Okay, we had a little bit of battery issues there. We're back. We're back and uh, we're looking at our final hat. Here it is. A Steelers hat. Which I've got to say, man. I've got to say, man, that's a nice hat. And it's a nice size, too. Look, it's not like completely apart. It's actually got some structure to it, this one. This is a nice hat, mate. Really nice. I love it. I absolutely love it. And you know what? I want to adjust this one so I can fit it on my head. Because I like this too. I like the like, the rustic sort of look. You know? I think they call these like dad caps now. And you know what? I am a dad so I can wear it. I'll have to pull it down like, <laughs> like you guys do. Hey dude. <laughs> Nah, awesome man, that's, that's fantastic. Three more hats I can put in my collection. And my collection is growing. Have a look behind me. How am I gonna display them though? You know what? I'll put this one here. I'll put this one here. And I'll wear this one. I do actually really like this one. Although, if I do wear it, people are gonna think I'm fanatical about the Steelers. I don't know that I am. I don't know if I'm fanatical about any team, really. But that's the fun of it. So, here we are. What do we got? What do we got? One, one t-shirt, a towel, a plush toy, a woman's top, a girl's top. We've got a toy baseball hat and ball. We've got a toy, a toy football, which I assume is probably for my daughter now. And, um, as always, oh, we've got a postcard, sorry. 
with beautiful Morrow Bay. And as always, we're going to finish off with the letter. So let's read it. Jacob, 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 Jacob. I am thoroughly enjoying watching your YouTube videos and your live streams are great too. Thanks, man. He says, thank you in big letters. Keep it up. It's kind of strange. It's like I've known you for a long time since I've seen you almost every day for a year. <laughs> I do appreciate what you do and I hope you're enjoying your journey into American football. I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Football is more like a religion there in Western Pennsylvania. I was fortunate enough to own season tickets to the Steelers from 1972. <laughs> 28 years before, sorry, 18 years before I was born. Until we, relinquished, we, until we relinquished them to an old friend in the early 2000s. I love football and I especially love the Pittsburgh Steelers. Since I have been alive, the Pittsburgh Steelers have had only three head coaches. Chuck Knoll, Bill Cowher and Mike Tomlin. I turned 50 years old last week. In 50 years they've had three head coaches. Are you for real? That's a dynasty, that's dynasty kind of stuff isn't it? My father was a steel worker and my first coach teaching my bro- Oh, sorry. My father was a steel worker and my first coach teaching my brother and I how to make a heads up tackle driving your shoulder into the middle of the opponent's chest. Be the hammer, not the nail, son. Hit him hard and hit him before he hits you. Focus on his belt buckle to tackle him. No amount of juking can move that part of the body and that's exactly right. If you're on defence and you're watching someone come up if you watch their hips, if you watch their torso, no amount of duking is going to do shit. Duking is all above the sh is all on the shoulders and the legs. The waist and the torso, more times than not, will will stay. Well, at least it won't move side to side as much as the feet or the or the shoulders or the arms. Dad was a Golden Gloves boxer while in high school, and had a fadeaway sky hook like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar that was unstoppable. I know what a sky hook is. And I know who Kareem, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is. So I got that one. He was as tough as they come. My kids started calling him Popeye as his physical appearance changed as he battled cancer a few years ago. I miss him dearly. Please hug your dad a little extra next time you see him and squeeze him for a minute for all of us who can't hug our own anymore. My dad was my hero but I also had sports heroes. Man, I miss my dad, and he's still alive. I've lived away from him for, for, for nine years, but I'll tell you right now, the next time I do see him, I will, I will squeeze him a little bit more. I can tell your dad was your hero, mate. I really can. And my dad's my hero. <sighs> my dad was my hero, but I also had sports heroes. Here are three of my all-time favorite sports heroes and their stories. I've got the YouTube video links here, Watch them all, watch none, or pick one or two. It's all up to you. And there's accompanying gifts for each of the moments. Okay. The Steelers. An NFL Hall of Famer and four-time Super Bowl champion, Pittsburgh Steelers halfback. Number 20, Rocky Blair. Vietnam War to Super Bowl champ. A living legend. I've got the Steelers hat. I've got the Steelers t-shirts. And the terrible towel. Okay. Now we've got the Pirates, 18 year Major League Baseball legend and Hall of Fame Pittsburgh Pirate right fielder number 21, Roberto Clement, a legend, a spectacular baseball player but an even greater man, gone way too soon. The world lost a legend that sad day. And for that one we have the mini Pittsburgh Pirates uh, helmet, which I got right, <laughs> and the, the ball toy. Actually, you know what, this is, this is a really sick logo. Like, Whenever I go into like a streetwear, um, you know, like store with, with lots of caps and new era caps, you know, it might have NFL stuff, you know, NBA style, swag sort of stuff, I always see that Pirates logo. So thanks for sending me that. And thanks to myself for actually knowing what it was. Roberto Clement, a legend. I will watch him. That'll be my first baseball video, mate. Okay, next one. Number 66, Mario Lemu. Lemux. Lemi? Lemu. Super Mario is his nickname and he is my all-time favorite sports hero. This living legend was so good on and off the ice, so he's an ice hockey player, 
that he went from hockey player to coach to owner of the Pittsburgh Peng Penguins franchise. Player to coach to owner. He brought an 18 year old kid, Sid, the kid, from Canada and kept him at his home, enforced a policy of eating dinner nightly with his family to keep the new young millionaire grounded, always surrounded by the Lemu and Penguins family. Sid and Super Mario's story is amazing and inspirational. Sid is now arguably the best hockey player on the planet. And the baby penguin plush is for my daughter, representing the Pittsburgh Penguins. Okay, so we've got a coach believing in a young player, bringing him into his home and under his wing, and seeing him flourish. Super Mario, Mario Lemu, <laughs> honestly, I don't want to fuck up that last name, but Mario Lemu and his prodigy, Sid the Kid. I can't wait to watch that, man. Sid and Super Mario. And the fourth one. After high school, I moved to California and graduated from Cali Poly. From Cal Poly, sorry. That's what we saw here. Cal Poly. And what did I say? California Polytechnic. And that's exactly what it is. California Polytechnic State University. This year, the Mustangs are celebrating their football team's 100-year anniversary. I love to watch their crazy triple option run, hef run heavy offense. You would love this place. Here is a short clip of highlights from a September 2018 home game against Brown University. And that's where the hat and the t-shirt came from. We've got a t-shirt and we've got the Cal Poly dad cap, which I like. Sadly, in 1960, an airplane carrying the Cal Poly football team crashed in Ohio. Of the 48 on board, 22 were killed, including both pilots, 16 players, a student manager, and a Cal Poly football booster. Hall of Fame legend, player, broadcaster, coach, and NFL icon John Madden played both ways for Cal Poly, starting on offense and on defense that year. He was luckily not on board at the time. Fucking hell. John Madden was playing at that point? I'll go back to the original line that you said. I love to watch their crazy triple option run heavy offense. A triple option run heavy offense is exactly what I like. Okay, so John Madden was playing at the time. He was luckily not on board, but so shaken by his fallen teammates that he refused to travel by air even to this day and always took buses to his NFL coaching and broadcasting jobs over the years. Wow. I've got to look that up. I've got to look that up. I'll definitely, I'll do a reaction to Cal Poly, but I'll also, I'll have to look up that incident and just see what's, see what the case is. Okay, we've got a fifth one. <laughs> the Rams. I asked, okay, what do we got? Jack Youngblood. The top 10 gutsiest performances. I asked him to sign for me when we met at the San, San, Fran, oh fuck, hang on, let me have a look at this hat. Oh, no way. It's signed by Jack Youngblood. And I haven't done a reaction to him yet, thank God. It's been a name that's thrown around, but I haven't done it yet. So thank, fuck man. How cool is that? Okay, so you asked him to sign this when we met at the San Sacramento Sports Expo in the 90s. You've had this since the 90s? Wow, man. I had a booth selling ball caps and sports memory. I had a booth selling ball caps and sports merchandise way back then. Number 85, Jack Youngblood, is one of the great tough guys in NFL history. He played the entire 1979 playoff run, including, <laughs> including this, I've heard about this, including the Super Bowl 15. He played the entire 1979 playoff run, including Super Bowl 15 against the Pittsburgh Steelers, with a fractured left fibula. He, how the fuck? <laughs> the pain would have been incredible. He also played in the 1980 Pro Bowl with that same injured leg a week after the Super Bowl. So this is an LA Rams hat from the 90s, autographed by Hall of Famer and legend number 85, Jack Youngblood. Wow. Blown away. I have such amazing opportunities of a wide variety of sports available to me here, and I wanted to make them available to you. You have an open invitation to you and yours to join me and my family at an event. Whenever, whenever you ever can get over here. I can also get tickets to the Hall of Fame game if it's something you can do. We have so many local professional and tons of NCAA 
teams now nearby. The NHL, San Jose Sharks, Anaheim Ducks, LA Kings. The NBA, LA Lakers, LA Clippers, Sacramento Kings, Golden State Warriors. The NFL, LA Chargers, LA Rams, the 49ers, the Oakland Raiders. Until they moved out, un, until they moved to Vegas, the mate, the MLB, Major League Baseball, LA Angels, LA Dodgers, Oakland Athletics, San Diego Padres, San Francisco Giants, and he's also included LA Chargers sleepwear set, <laughs> a sleepwear set for my sister. So actually, uh, this was meant to go with these, and they're for my sister. But sorry, sis, they're mine. <laughs> You can have the top. And he said, sincerely, Robert and the Davises, your football family from afar. Have a look at that. There he is. Wife, two girls. Man. What an absolute legend among legends, mate. This is, f these subscriber starter packs just get better and better. They really do. I'm gonna wear this. I like this t-shirt, the fit's good, I really appreciate it, I love this hat. This hat ain't going to see the light of day, don't you worry. No, 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 no. This is sitting right up on my shelf. Right there. 1990s, man, I cannot believe that. That's amazing. That's 20 years old. And I just got to go back to where you, what did you say here? I miss my dad dearly. Please hug your dad a little extra next time you see him and squeeze him for a minute for all of us who can't hug our own anymore. My dad was my hero. But I also had sports heroes. And he went on to tell me about his sports heroes. Man, Robert, I will. I fucking will, mate. You know I will. I'll do that. And all you guys out there who, who don't tell your dad that you love him enough, you might feel embarrassed. I felt embarrassed. I felt too embarrassed as a kid to tell my parents I loved them to give them a hug. You just gotta get over that, man. When you realize, when they're gone, <laughs> when they're gone, they're gone. I've had a pretty sheltered upbringing. I haven't dealt with a lot of tragedy, but that's one tragedy that's inevitable and I'm not gonna deal well with it. I don't even wanna think about it. I don't even wanna think about it. Some people, th some people literally think all they want is their inheritance from their parents. I want my parents to spend every single little dime that they've got, every single last penny, and then I want to be able to support them financially. I've always said that. I've always said, fuck, if I could buy you a car, if I could buy you a house, I would. I'd do it. If I had the cash, I'd buy you a place. You don't have to worry about a mortgage at your age. We'd spend more time together. But to build a life of financial freedom like that, it takes sacrifice, man. It takes years and years. It takes study. It can take luck. It takes being in the right place at the right time. Rubbing shoulders with the right people. And building on that. So, anyways, that was a bit of real talk. This, this video has gone way too long. It's probably gone like half an hour. Robert, if you're sitting here with your family, I really appreciate it. I, I think, you know, I hope you enjoy this video. I really do. I've enjoyed it. So anyways, look, I could continue talking all day. I wish I was there. I wish I could come and hang out with you, mate, because, fuck, you've got like... Excuse my language. Uh, <laughs> I've probably been swearing throughout this whole video, but uh, you've got 12 or 13 professional, like full-on professional franchises there that I could just go and watch. NHL, NBA, NFL, MLB. We don't have none of that here, man. We've got no professional ice hockey. We've got professional basketball, but it's not at that level. We don't have professional American football, and we don't have professional baseball, so three out of those four sports would be a brand brand new experience for me and I, I mean I can't wait. I'm gonna get over there in the new year. Unfortunately I couldn't this year but look man I want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone out there for watching especially Robert. I want to say have a fantastic day with your family mate. Whatever you're doing. If you're watching football this weekend have a good one. If you're watching the Steelers this weekend have a good one. Just know I've got my terrible towel. I've got my fantasy gear. I've got, I've got my Steelers hat. Don't you worry and I'll be wearing it for these reactions. So the next four videos you see, guys, will be my four reactions to his players that he has recommended. We've actually got five. We're definitely doing Jack Youngblood. We'll do Jack Youngblood, we'll do Rocky Blair from the Steelers, and we'll do my first uh, MLB video on Robert Clement. 
And we'll also, actually you know what, we'll do them all, fuck it. All five, coming up. I'm going to take a break, I'm going to start tomorrow morning, I'll get into it. So I want to say guys, have a fantastic day. If you have liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. I'm out. Thank you Robert. Thank you men. Peace out.